Hello everyone. This is is a potato croquette. This one the texture is not very soft because of I don't make the potato really soft. So that's why this texture like that. The other one it is look like soft because I'm using paneer meal in outside of the potato. Yes. Let's we start it. Hello everyone. Welcome to Nona Maroke Kitchen. Today we will make it potato croquette Makassar style. This dishes is really have lovely taste and then melting in the mouth believe me you will like it but before I start it I want to let you know if this video I edit from the video yesterday I upload in my channel because of the request from Instagram so I edit again this video in English let's get started now for let you know this recipe I found when I'm 20 or 21 years old in Makassar City when I'm still university and I play tennis in one club and there is a old lady selling these dishes. The first time I try these dishes is I already love it. One whole city of Makassar selling these dishes but until now Whatever it is I try, I still like it, the old lady make it. Luckily me, that moment, because my hobby is also cooking, so I asked the old lady if I can come earlier to look how she made the croquette. Apparently the lady is really like it, my company, for I can look and I can learn. That's why the starting I make this recipe. The old lady only using a simple ingredient. It's just using paper, milk, and salt. But now, because it's my hobby to make a food more delicious, so I put more ingredient inside and with, with my method from my, my cooking school. And this is, is my recipe. Enjoy it. Friends, this is a potato. We boil it in the water, and this is is after I boil boil them, and later we just uh, broken it of making it soft. Now, let's we make the filling from the potato. Here is I'm using meat i i mix the meat with a dark soy sauce a little bit and water and i use onion and then i use garlic powder because of this make the taste more tasty Less we cooking. First, put oil. I use uh, olive oil, but all of you can use whatever oil you like it. So, if you don't have to use a garlic powder, you can use a uh, fresh garlic and you must add the girls the garlic before you add the onion now i add the onion because i don't have the ga fresh garlic so i add the onion until the onion is smell really nice after that I put paper, a little bit paper. 
mix it a little bit until the smell is nicely and I add the garlic powder and then again I mix it good After that, I add wortel. I'm not using all of that because I only have a little bit amount of meat. After the wortel already fine and I add the meat. and you really need to mix it very well until it's cooked after that I put a uh, In Indonesia is masako but in English maybe you can say is knor but in in the uh, cool taste after that I put salt and a little bit more sugar because the the filling must a little bit sweet taste And after that, I add one spoon of flour, but I put a little bit, a little bit, little bit in the top of it, so it's not become a hard piece. And then more until the two teaspoon is finished and keep stir it because otherwise it will be burned under the meat Put more the flour until you get the thickness from the mixture between meat, onion, and water. After that, we put out the oil with this method. So I put all of the meat in one side of the bag and then I make hogar one side so all the oil will be go down in the bag. And then we let it a little bit cold so the the, the so the oil will be hard and the meat doesn't have so much oil anymore now after that we go making the skin dough so now I just make the 
smash the ar uh, smash the potato. I don't do very soft because I like it more like this, and then you taste more eating. And then now I add garlic powder and paper again, little bit paper. And now salt. After that, I put a little bit, not muscat, just a little bit for a little taste. After that, put two tablespoon milk powder. This is make your make your this is make your flavor more now after that I put two yellow eggs and now we mix them well mix them until all the in the ingredient combine Now, did you see friends look like like this it's all not really soft Now, now I'm finished with the mixing. So now it's time for I prepare to full the potato with the meat before. But before that, let's we look. Om Edwin is busy in the kitchen cooking for the kids. It is a uh, meat and Spinasi or no, this is three board in Netherlands. We say three plate. I use a flour for my work place and also I put a little bit in a small place so I to be able to put the croquette later around it and I will explain the infilling I already put like that and you can see all the oil going down and then that is really good so when we are fooling the potato it will be not oil sticky around now friends I'm very sorry I always using a scale for the dough so at least it will be the same bigger because it's really difficult if you want to make some dough all the same big yes let's we get started put the infilling I put two spoon because I think it's really a lot already otherwise I cannot close them
Now, this is, is all one done. And after that, I put in the flower and roll it around. This is for making when we are bake it in the oil, it will be not broken in the oil. Yes, you must really make them very good hard. Dear friends, don't be scared if you, when you are uh, put them around and then the dough will be sticky in your hand. Using oil in your hand for make them not sticky because this is a recipe is the potato is soft so when we are bake it then outside is hard and inside they melt in the mouth. If the recipe hard already from when we are starting cover it later it will be just more hard that's why we must have more little bit careful when we make them nice around Now, let I see you how to put it that. First, put in the white eggs. This white eggs is over from before when we use the yellow one for the inside the dishes. And then after that, you put in the bread crunch. And then mix them well. And then you have it one with the paneer uh, with the bread crumbs i will do this five piece okay for just example Yes, friends we first bake it the one without the paneer meal the one without bread scrum because otherwise the oil will be a little bit dirty from the bread scrum bake it them try not use too hot oil because they will set they will fast be brown just do slowly like this bake them until they are really nicely and brown remember friends this is the need to bake long because the potato all already cook and the in the and the inside of the potato also already cook yes now i will bake the one with the bread scrum and after that we gonna sitting and try it 
ok? Now, friends, that is the end from the video. I hope you like the video the one I edit from the other video and I hope you enjoy it also the important things is I hope when you try the recipe it will be really good I'm waiting for the pictures in my Instagram okay thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel please like it and subscribe. Bye-bye.